Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence, okay? So the first thing we're going to see is how do I know if my sequence that I've been given is quadratic? Well, I've got one here, okay, um, this one that's now highlighted, and all we're going to do is let's look at the difference between each terms, okay? So the first one, well that's plus 4, the next one, that's plus 6, the next one, that's plus 8, and so on, right? Plus 8, plus 10. Now, this isn't linear because if it was, each of these common differences would be the same. So what we're going to do from here is look at the second difference, okay, which is the difference between these differences. So 4 to 6, well that's plus 2. 6 to 8, again, plus 2, and so on, right? Now you'll notice these are all plus 2. And that means that we have a quad, not because they're plus 2, but because they're the same, that means we have a quadratic sequence. So how do we go about finding the nth term? Well, we're going to need this table, which looks confusing, maybe to you. I don't know, to me it maybe does, but it's actually so easy. Just follow these examples, two examples, and it will be so easy to do. So um, I'll work through it, and then you'll just get it. So the second difference is plus 2, OK? Now, if you have a quadratic sequence, it's usually going to, or it's always going to have an n squared term in it. So the way we find the coefficient, so the number in front of that n squared in the nth term, is we take our common difference, in this case it's plus 2, and we divide it by 2. Okay? If the, com the second difference was, I don't know, plus 6, we would half it, divide it by 2 and get 3. Okay? But in this case it's plus 2, so we're going to half it and we get 1. So the coefficient of our n squared is going to be, well, just 1n squared, which is n squared. And in our table we write that, I'm writing it in red here, where I've written quadratic, okay? So it's just n squared. Now, here's how this table's going to work. Uh, at the top, we've got n, so when n is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? That's what all that means. It's not very complicated. Here, original sequence, all I'm going to do is write in the original sequence. So 6, 10, 16, 24, 34. To be honest, you probably don't need to go all the way from n equals 1 to 5, but I've just done it because why not? Now here, quadratic, well, I've told you where we got the n squared from. I'm just going to substitute in n equals 1, 2, 3, and 4 into that. So when n is 1, well, n squared is 1. When n is 2, n squared is 4, and so on. So I'll fill these in now. Now this last box, remainder, to work this out, okay, we are literally finding the remainder when we take our original sequence and we subtract whatever the quadratic one is. So for the first box, I'm going to do 6, subtract 1. 5, then I'm going to do 10, subtract 4, 6, okay, so I'll fill in the rest of these now. So this is the last part, okay, and you're going to need to know how to find the nth term of a linear sequence for this. I have a video on that if you're unsure. Um, and to do that, okay, we look at our remainder, which I will highlight, okay, our remainder terms, and we find the nth term of these. So let's do it. We've got 5 to 6, plus 1, 6 to 7, plus 1, 7 to 8, plus 1, 8 to 9, Plus one. So you'll notice this is a linear sequence or arithmetic sequence with common difference one. And if you worked out the nth term of this, you would get n, uh, whoops, n plus four. So we've got the linear sequence here with the nth term n plus four. So to find the nth term of the quadratic, the original sequence, we take our n squared that we worked out at the start, I'll write it below, and then we just add on the linear sequence that we just got, so n squared plus n plus 4 and that's it that's how we can work out the nth term of a quadratic sequence I'll do one more example that's slightly different because we've got decimals so this one I'll maybe oh okay I'll talk us through it just the same so 3.5 to 7 plus 3.5 7 to 11.5 we're going to add 4.5 11.5 to 17 okay we're going to add on 5.5 you can probably notice the pattern already and the last one we're going to add on 6.5 so hit, so you can see that's our first difference and now difference so let's look at the second difference so in this one we're going plus one here we're going plus one and here we're going plus one now remember what i said we look at our second difference in this case they're all plus ones and we divide it by two and that gives us the coefficient of our n squared so in this case we'll get 0.5 n squared now I'm going to write in the original sequence, so 3.5, 7, 11.5, 17, 23.5, okay? 
then we're going to substitute n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 into the quadratic, so 0.5n squared. And with the first one, that's going to be, well, n squared when n is 1 is 1, multiplied by 0.5, that's just going to give us 0.5. n is 2, well, that's 4 when we have n squared, and then we're timesing that by 0.5, so that will half it. So we get 4 times 0.5, which is 2. We're then going to do uh, 3 squared, which is 9, 9 times 0 0.5, which halves it, and we get 4.5, and so on. So I'll just quickly do the rest, and we then finally get 25 times 0 0.5, which is 12.5. Cool. Now the remainder term, you'll remember we take the original, and then we subtract the quadratic. So for the first one, we're going to get 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So once we've got these remainders, we then need to find the nth term of these uh, linear sequence, which this always should be a linear sequence. So we've got plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. So the nth term for this is going to be 2n plus 1. And we combine them all together to get the nth term of the quadratic sequence, which is 0.5n squared plus 2n plus 1. Lovely stuff. Whew, I feel like that was a long video. So link in my bio to uh not my bio link in the description and on my channel to my tiktok if you want to see worked exam questions um head over to my youtube channel if you want to see more tutorials thanks for watching